Hi, my name is Alec, I'm a member of the technical team at Quellfire. The product overview today, we're going to talk about the intermittent acoustic putty pad from Quellfire. As you can see here, it comes in two sizes, a single or one gang, or a double two gang. And they are used for both plastic and metal socket boxes and also metal media panels. You can buy them as singles in boxes of 20, or we can do boxes of 100, or as any quantity that you require. As you can take a look here, you can see that the putty pads come in this grease proof paper and you simply pull the paper back and then take out the putty and then you will form it into the socket or media panel that you are using. If we take a look at just some of the ways it's tested, have a quick first look at the plastic socket box. So we just have some examples here, there's a single and a double and you can see that we've utilised the putty within the side. You simply form the putty inside the plastic socket box, making sure you maintain a three mil thickness around. Any cables, you simply break away the putty and tightly form it around the cable, and then you uh, put the uh, face plate on. For plastic socket boxes, it's been tested in double skin plastic walls, and as you can see, the socket box will be flush with the wall itself. When it comes to metal socket boxes, we've done a lot more testing. The reason why we've done this is because the applications are usually different. Most manufacturers will only test plastic socket boxes, which we just looked at. Now plastic will cover metal, but it will cover it for only integrity only fire resistance. So if your wall requires both fire, uh, integrity and insulation, then you should use um, test evidence that's been tested on metal socket boxes. So just here you can see we have a double socket box here and at the, below we have the unique media panel. And how we've done this one is you just use multiple putty um, putties together, just break them off and firmly join them together, again maintaining that 3mm thickness throughout. One of the unique features with metal socket boxes are what happens inside the wall. As you can see, this, this demo here is actually a single skin wall. With metal socket boxes, we've tested on both single and double, but usually inside you'll see there'll be a metal caddy bracket, and that's where the metal socket box will be fixed to. Because of this, Typically, this box will be sat behind the layer of plasterboard or sat just within it, and it won't be flush to the wall like the plastic socket box needs to be. So when we did our fire testing, we left a gap of 5mm between the last layer of plasterboard, either single or double, whichever wall we tested, and then we had the metal um, socket box sat there. The putty is then extended, again maintaining that 3mm um, thickness, to the front edge. What we did do to make sure that the edges of the plasterboard were firm enough is we used PVA glue just to bind all those fibres up together and to give the surface strong enough for the putty to um, fix to. You can also use extension plates as well, so then that would help the putty um, fix to. Just on the back here, I wanted to showcase the spacings. Now again, typically, when you only test one service, the test standard would then allow you to have a space of 100 mil to the next service. And this doesn't usually happen. When you look at clients' kitchens, for example, you very often have multiple plug sockets near each other. So we tested clusters of metal socket boxes, which allow a gap of 20 mil, which is very unique. And again, we've done this in both single skin and double skin walls. So lastly, just wanted to go back to the final bit. We also did some testing in conjunction with the Beadmaster. This is a very useful tool that um, fits into the dry lining to allow for the walls to be skimmed and then you break away the plate and then install your putty later on. This prevents any paint going inside the socket boxes when they paint the wall or plaster, uh, that sort of thing. If you need any information about our putty pad or all the test evidence you've got, the acoustic results, you can get in touch with us either by telephone or email and we'll be happy to help. Thank you very much.